everybody, it's Mr. Marshall and I'm not at Stony Lane today. I am actually up in the Catskill Mountains. That's a mountain range in New York State. Um, we're visiting some friends and um, it's really cold up here. It's like 22 degrees just now and um, it snowed here yesterday. And I was just driving down into town in the early morning and take a look at what I saw. It's a field full of cows and the cows are out here and they're eating their grass and everything. Um, and they're not even cold. Like, how do they do that? How do animals live in such, such extreme temperatures? Like, that means it's very cold or very hot. And they're not complaining. They don't have coats. They're not wearing anything to keep them warm. And they're fine. Right? So when animals have to do that, when they have to figure out a way to survive in a place that could be hard to survive in, that's called animal adaptations. Like these cows are out here in the cold and they're also out here in the heat in the summer and they're fine And there's other animals that do that too. They live in really cold or really hot places So that might be something that you wonder about Okay, um, that might be something that you try to get smart about by reading a book or something on the internet Or talking to someone that might know a lot about it. There's ways that these animals use their bodies to survive Okay, and um, so check that out and maybe that'll make you smarter about animals in general or about the world or um, anything. But anyway, I'm going to move back into my car because it's really cold out here. All right, I'll see you next time.